Tom's been telling us we are expecting to see temperatures in the triple digits this week, and that is a reason to stay hydrated. New this morning, reporter Cameron Brewer joins us after speaking with a nutritionist at Sanford Health about all the right things you should be doing to quench that thirst. Good morning, Cameron. What, uh, what are some of those ways to keep hydrated? Good morning, Alicia. A nutritionist says to stay hydrated, drinking water is not the only liquid that does the job. Here's what she had to say about drinking other liquids. You can do cold herbal infusions. This one's watermelon, cucumber, mint. It sounds really good. Uh, you can just do some juice every now and then. I wouldn't drink juice the whole day, but something with carbohydrates is going to help you hang on to it a little bit better. As the temperature rises to the 90s, North Dakotans are already feeling those summer temperatures. But a person could be within a few minutes of overheating if not hydrated, especially at over 100 degrees. You might experience migraine, like headaches. You might experience some pounding in your head. Um, physiologically, your body is going to be secreting some of your stress hormones a little bit more. Checking hydration status starts with checking places you'd never imagine, like your urine. If you are apple juice or darker, you're dehydrated already. If you are pale lemonade to clear, you're in a decently hydrated state. Caffeinated drinks are also a must have in the morning, but Iverson said people should still have water as well. So we want to be cautious about that. So pair your coffee or your um, pop or anything that has caffeine in it with another beverage, but know that it's not necessarily a big deal if you have coffee or, um, you know, black tea the same amount every single day. Iverson says although the temperatures are on the rise, it is still possible to be dehydrated in cooler weather depending on the UV rays. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Just the importance of keeping hydrated. And I was saying earlier that my husband, he's not a huge water drinker, but we get those drops, those flavor drops that you can put into the water. She had that, what was that, that she had the infusion? Yes, the infusion, yes. That's something really tasty too, I've had those. So how about you, are you a water drinker or do you like those flavored drinks? Well. Alicia, I like water, um, trying to get in the habit of drinking more water. Mm -hmm. But I think in those drops make it makes it a lot easier for those who may not be so much of a fan of drinking water. Right. A little more palatable. Yeah, especially <laughs> if you're just used to drinking a whole bunch of soda. Exactly. You know, be yeah, hard to just find that comp drink water. Yeah. Compromise, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tom, you are telling <clears throat> excuse me, telling us that now I think I need some water here. That uh, now is the time to be drinking our water, especially this week. It is. I don't put the drop. I guess they're drops, but it's like cool. I actually have it here at the station. These are little Kool-Aid drops, and the only reason I drink them is it's sweet, but uh -huh. I don't see sugar in it. But hopefully that's good. I don't know. I'll have to ask Cameron if I if that's a good call or not. 